There's a series of stages. I mean, the first stage is the humanitarian effort. There will be people without food, without shelter, that will need plastic sheeting, some assistance to reconstruct their houses, some medical care, and so on. And we all have humanitarian emergency budgets, and that will be the first stage. The second, I mean, one stage will flow into another, but then some rehabilitation and getting the structures of society working, and then long-term reconstruction. And different funding and support kicks in as one goes through the stages. Obviously, the World Bank is already looking at the problems of the region, the surrounding countries, the European <coughs> Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Um, Germany has a large program working with these countries already and is going to refocus it. Italy, Italy, similarly, we have a program, but we're looking at refocusing now. So it will take time, and there'll be a series of different funds that, that come into play as we get through the initial emergency. And the big effort has to be to move from handouts to helping people to reconstruct and enabling them to care for themselves as rapidly as possible. I'm sorry. When will the first refugees arrive in Britain? Well, point number two, the international community doesn't want to pay for all of the repairs. If you can get an economy up and running, create a construction industry, the Kosovars themselves are going to do most of this work. Uh... Bon, la France participe d'abord avec ses partenaires ses partenaires de l'Alliance Atlantique, ses partenaires de l'Union Européenne, à l'effort total de la communauté internationale pour venir en aide aux réfugiés. Ce que nous affirmons d'abord, c'est le droit inconditionnel d'un retour immédiat de l'ensemble des réfugiés au Kosovo, ainsi que des personnes déplacées à l'intérieur du Kosovo.